What up, Namie Amuda Fanatics? This is Steven, and welcome back to another lyrical analysis. This time, I'll be analyzing Namie's song, Red Carpet. And this song is pretty interesting, actually. Um, <clears throat> you know, the sound of this song is different from what I'm used to hearing from Namie. You know, as I said before, this song sort of kind of, like the sound of this song sort of kind of reminds me of a song well of a song that came out in the united states during like the 90s kind of like a pop a pop rock song from the 90s an american pop rock song from the 90s yeah <clears throat> and for me that's a different sound that i'm here than i'm used to hearing from now yet um but anywho let's jump into this lyrical analysis now so here we go <clears throat> And by the way, this song is in like English and Japanese. So, you know, this is something for you guys who want to hear Namie sing in Japanese a bit more. <coughs> All right, here we go. I'm a VIP. So it's like, I'm a VIP. So, as you guys know, Namie is, you know, she's very humble, you know, very humble. And she doesn't brag, you know, she's not going to go around just, you know, just telling you, you know, listing her resume, you know, and telling you how awesome she is. You know, she's a humble or an humble person. <clears throat> so I like that about Nami that, you know, she doesn't, you know, believe her own hype. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> All right, next, a person who walks looking up. So when you see Nami walking, you might not even know. You see Nami walking because she's looking up when she's walking. I mean, I don't think that is the best when it comes to safety. You know, you could trip and fall into like a manhole or something or a big pothole or, you know, you can step in some um, dog mess. You know, <clears throat> you know, there are a lot of um, hazards that you can, you know, encounter when you're just w walking while looking up you know you can't really you know see the hazards coming because you're too busy looking up all right next in every day i aim for my better version all right so every day she aims to be a better version of herself and lately sometimes i feel like namie is kind of like you know coasting in regards to her career, maybe not doing as much as she could do. But on the other hand, sometimes I'm like, okay, Namie is sort of being a bit different about this. <clears throat> Cause like, okay, she's singing in English now more. And for her, that would be considered a challenge because she um, is a, her native language is Japanese and she's speaking English as a second language or a foreign language. Um, but on the other hand, I'm like, okay, where are your promotional performances for your singles? Where are your interviews for your singles? You know, where are your award show appearances for your single? You know. But on the other hand, I do remember that, you know, Namie didn't get to this point in her career where, like, a long time ago, she didn't get to this point in her career where she could, you know, skip doing radio interviews and television interviews and um, promotional performances and award show appearances and performances. She didn't get to that point way back then. Like, <clears throat> when she would have or was supposed to kind of get to that point where she could kind of like skip doing the promotional stuff, like, her career was like in a struggle to an extent because. She, People were counting her out. They were like, okay, she's kind of done for now. But now she got to a point in her career where she's bounced back and she's kind of like the it thing. You know, as far as female solo artists go, she's the top at this point. Um, <clears throat> so she is taking advantage of that and kind of like, you know, skipping the promotional stuff because she never had a chance to do that before earlier in her career when she did invest, you know, where she was invested in so many years in the industry where kind of like at that point you feel like okay she could do that where she could skip promotional performances I hope I'm not confusing you guys uh, with my exclamation but a long story short 
right, to sum it up and be more straightforward, around the time of, say, Style, when Style came out, um, that ideally would have been the time for Namie to have been able to skip doing promotional performances and interviews and, um, you know, promotional work. That would have been the time. But her career was not in the place where she could do that because if she did that, then she might not, her career might not have survived during that time, you know? <clears throat> but now, Namie is in a place where she can do that where she can skip doing the promotional performances and stuff and still get very respectable record sales and single sales. That's where I'm going. All right. Sorry about that tangent, but let's get back to the topic. <clears throat> All right, next. I used to be pretending to be tough, but without hiding a single thing, I could show the truth. So back in the day i guess or whenever this took place <clears throat> she used to pretend to be tough like yeah i could take on the world but now she can show the truth you can she can tell the truth and say you know i'm not as tough as i put as i let on i'm not as tough as i pretend to be or as i seem to be <clears throat> you know i actually am affected by the things that are happening in my life you know and yeah, um, I will say that, you know, in order to be able to admit that on record, I think that is sort of kind of like her being tough, but in a different way, being able to reveal and really show that she's vulnerable and, you know, she's going through some things and she's hurting. So everyone can't be that transparent and do that. So props to Nami for that. All right, so here's this chorus that we got here for this song. So it's like, when I'm with you, with that alone, I can be stronger. I feel I am the greatest. I'll make it through. All right, so here we go. Um, so when she is with this very special person, probably me, but then again, it could be like her son, um, maybe a family member. Well, I guess her son would be considered a family member, too. But maybe one of her siblings, you know, or, you know, an older family member, perhaps. Who knows? Um, a very good friend. Um, you know, <clears throat> I don't imagine it being, well, it could be a lover. Um, I mean, if it is, then I'm like, who this dude is, Nami? Who he is? Um I didn't when he get in the picture, you know, when, when this dude get in the picture, I, I thought I was in the picture, <clears throat> but yeah, imaginary relationships be tough, but you know, we and Nami ain't gonna make it through. We got our red carpet. We're going to be walking down. Um, let's see. I feel like, like with, all right, with that alone, I can be stronger. Okay, so she can be stronger than yesterday. Um, so that's good. <clears throat> I feel like uh, I feel I am the greatest. Okay, so she feels like she's the greatest thing ever. And she is, um, at least in the um, female solo artist category. Like, who checking her? Like, who checking her? You know, who on her level right now? Nobody. But um, I will say, Namie, um, I am a fan. I am a fan, a fanatic. Um, <clears throat> you know, even perhaps even a stand for Namie. But I will say, you better enjoy it while while it lasts, Namie, because um, rumors have it, um, Utada Hikaru, she's coming back on the scene approximately around next like summer, I believe. <clears throat> so I imagine her comeback being similar to Adele's comeback. So, yeah, you might want to enjoy this moment while it lasts because when Utada come back, I think she might become the top female solo artist. But then again, could Nami, could they battle it out? You know, could Nami come out victorious? Hmm. I don't imagine so at this particular moment just because people have not been so, like people have been, people haven't had Utada in a while. They haven't had it. Utada CDs and music in a while. 
a long while, since like 2002. Um, however, people have had Namie's material for a while, consistently. So it's not, it's like, okay, yeah. So it would be interesting to see them battle it out. Um, however, I feel that Utada would come out on top in this particular situation here. Now, overall, in the whole big scheme of things throughout their whole entire career, who knows, you know, but at that particular moment, I feel like Utada would be the top chick, you know, the it chick. <clears throat> um, let's see, next. I'll make it through, okay, so um, Nami ain't gonna be making it through. And let's see, ah, with this alone, I can shine. As long as you're there, I'm always walking on the red air, red carpet. Walking on a red, red carpet. Ooh, yeah. I'm walking on a red, red carpet. So, you know, she always feel like she at an award show, even though Nami has not attended an award show in years with a red carpet. <clears throat> but when she is with this very special person, possibly me, um, she feel like she walking on a red carpet. You know. So good good that's how you're supposed to feel when you are with your you know very special person you that's how you're supposed to feel you know like you walking down the red carpet like you the only thing that's important you know like you the star that's how you're supposed to feel and that's how your significant other is supposed to make you feel so i'm glad that i'm doing that for you now <clears throat> all right all right here's the second verse i am royalty Nobody can steal this pride. That's why girls like me. If you can go with confidence, it it'll be all right. Okay. All right. Um. So Nami is royalty. You know she is Japanese pop music royalty. That's true. That is true. <clears throat> no. no one can steal this pride. You know Nami has pride and confidence in herself, so no one can steal that away from her. So that's good. Um. That's why girls like Namie. And I think this is probably the part when the Japanese is not translated correctly. and Well, the English is not translated correctly into the Japanese. Or either they just change it up for themselves. But next is like, if you can go with confidence, it'll be all right. So basically, if you have confidence in yourself, it'll be okay. You can survive. And that's true. You know, like I often say to myself, like, if I can't sell myself, to myself like if I can't if I can't support myself and believe in myself then who else will you know who else is going to do that very few people are going to believe in you more than you believe in yourself <clears throat> now again if I cannot sell myself to myself how can I sell myself to other people you know <clears throat> Here we go with the next lyrics. Like the stars I've seen, the sparkle is endless. So, just shining so bright that it's seemingly in endless. It's just like, you know, so much brightness and illuminosity, I guess, is that a word? Um, or illumination. So, okay, Namie is bright, you know? All right, someday I wanna see a future like that. She wants to see it. Uh, bright, shining, uh, like a very bright, sparkling, shining, endless future, like a very beautiful future, basically. Yeah, I do too. I want to see that too, Namie. So I think you and I should go and work towards that together. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, everyone will shine bright. So we are going to have our, get our shine on, you know, shine more. Ooh, yeah. Baby, remember to shine. Well, as she sings it, baby, remember shine. Just like the morning rain, our love ain't no passing thing. Yeah. Ooh, baby, I want to shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Um... Here's the next chorus, and this chorus is a little different from the previous chorus, so I'm going to analyze it. So here we go. When I'm with you, all right. When I'm with you, with that alone, it makes me smile. All right, so 
where Nami is with this very special person, me, um, it makes her smile. So I'm, I'm happy that I can bring happiness to Nami. Let's see. I believe that I am the finest. Okay, she believes that, like Nami believes that she is just the best thing ever. And again, that's how you're supposed to feel. That's how your significant other is supposed to make you feel. <clears throat> I feel brand new. Okay, so Nami, she feels like she is just like a brand new shipment of clothing at like Banana Republic, you know? <clears throat> so that's good, you know? Um, yeah, I had an interview with Banana Republic like a while ago. Um, needless to say, I did not get that job. And a whole, whole lot of buffoonery in that interview, in my personal opinion. But I got a way better job now. A way better job that's paying a lot more. But, you know. Um, when you need a job, um, you can't be picky, right? <clears throat> but <clears throat> another story for another day. Back to this story, you know. No matter the day, I'll get over it. Um, so, no matter what's happening, she will overcome it. So, that's good. As long as you're there, I'm always, always walking on a red, red carpet. Ooh, 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 ooh. Walking on a red, red carpet. So yeah, now may always be walking on the red carpet when she is with me. Or maybe her son, or some other person. I don't know. <clears throat> so good for you, Nami. Good for you. I'm happy for you. Alright, so here is like the bridge to the song, um, more or less. You know. This bridge has some lyrics, and I did find out that like the bridge is not considered to ha not supposed to usually have lyrics. I guess, um, or, or at least when I say that phrase, it's supposed to be like a bridge of music versus the bridge of words. So I guess this would be considered the third verse, but whatever. This is a bridge for me. <clears throat> all right, when all right, here's the bridge. When you're with me. So like when you're with me, I see. And then she starts mumbling, or speaking in a really low tone. And she, you know, her voice is kind of accented too. And she's speaking in English, so I didn't know what she was saying. So thanks to these lyrics, I finally know what she's saying during that part. So it's like, on the ugliest of days, there is glamour, there is grace. So that's what she's saying, like. On the ugliest day, there is grandma, there is grace. Clearly. So basically, she's saying, clearly, on the ugliest of days, there is no glamour. And then she strikes a pose. <laughs> and there is grace. <clears throat> so, you know, um, again, Nami is the finest. You know, she is the best. She's the VIP. You know, she's a royalty. So, and therefore, she is glamour and grace as well, and that she represents that. So yeah, um, so pretty much that is the end. Um, they say this exact line again um, at the very end of the song. They say this exact line again. Um, and by the way, um, I want to give a shout out to the place where I retrieve these lyrics. Um, I retrieve these lyrics from a website called shinitikashi.blogspot.com so thanks a lot um, I really appreciate them uh, for being a great source for the lyrics you know in like Japanese lyrics translated to English they're a great source for that <clears throat> and this was the first place I saw these lyrics on so I'm like yeah let me let me uh, get these lyrics so I can do a lyrical analysis uh, of this song yeah and I guess that's pretty much the end um, I've done a video analysis or at least a video review of the video for this song and I'll post a link inside of the description box for you guys if you're interested in you know my take on the music video for this song <clears throat> um, but yeah you know, thanks a lot for watching feel free to comment subscribe uh, give a thumbs up it's all appreciated very much until the next lyrical analysis adios and goodbye for now